Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. DJI ends up releasing the Matrice 3D and the Dock 2. We have all the details. A man was arrested for attempting to crash their drone into a police drone. Not good. And then DSPA has released a uh, guide on how to submit a Operation Over People waiver, which is really good. Let's get to it. All right, first up this week is the DJI Matrice 3D and the Dock 2. Uh, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now. There were rumors. Uh, the Matrice 3D is basically a simplified version of the Mavic uh, designed to be used with the new Dock. Uh, the uh, drone comes up with two available payload, one that's nearly identical to the Mavic 3 Thermal and then the other one very identical also to the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So uh, they basically just took that shell, kind of redesigned it so that it would work with the uh, the new Dock. Uh, the, the m 3 has 55 minutes of flight time. It has obstacle avoidance. Um, it has working temperatures that are actually pretty interesting. Uh, negative uh, 13 Fahrenheit to 113 Fahrenheit. Uh, for those of you that use uh, real units for uh, temperature, it's uh, negative 25 Celsius to uh, 45 Celsius. And then it has a maximum takeoff altitude of uh, 8,200 feet. Uh, the dock too in itself comes in a smaller and lighter uh, package than the original dock. It's 75 pounds and then has an IP55 rating. Uh, it's uh, got an environmental monitoring system. It's got security cameras. It's got the spotlight, air conditioning, which is important in a lot of, uh, of places, especially in the summer. And then uh, 4G and Ethernet connectivity. Uh, currently, the Dock 2 and the M3Ds are only going to be available in the Chinese market with the price ranging from around $9,600 uh, for the enterprise payload to uh, $10,700 for the thermal. Uh, we'll keep you updated when we see more about this and uh, if they decide to bring this to the U.S. Next up this week is a man in Missouri that uh, allegedly tried to crash his drone into a police drone. Uh, the sheriff's drone was watching an area over a citywide power outage when the other drone decided to maneuver to attack and hit, uh, try to hit the sheriff's drone. Uh, the officers were able to use the IR camera on their drone to locate the operator and then was able to arrest him for obstructing government operation and then attempting property damage. According to the sheriff's office, the records have also been sent uh, to the FA for investigation. Uh, I'm going to say it again, like I seem like I'm saying it every week now, but please don't be that guy. All right, last up this week is DSPA, the Drone Service Provider Alliance, has recently released their guidance on getting an Operation Over People waiver. Uh, the article explains how to apply for a 10739 waiver and then 107145 waiver uh, using the Mini 3 Pro and then the Mini 4 Pro. Uh, the waivers can be tricky to get, and uh, we know that based on the comment in our course, and also based on the comments that we had when Vic uh, decided to present this to our students in a, a private session a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a ton of great information in the article, uh, as well as what we did uh, with our group. Uh, it's interesting to see how many people want to fly their drone over people and moving vehicle, and how difficult that regulation actually is to understand. Uh, it's one of these questions that we answer the most just because it's it's confusing. Uh, check out the link below. Be sure to uh, write your own waiver. Please don't copy and paste. Uh, the FAA has limited staff in the waiver office and they will know that uh, it's been copied from somebody else, especially after this information has been submitted. So uh, if you're not familiar with DSPA, uh, they're an advocacy group that focuses on drone service providers. Uh, they ensure that the FAA and uh, other states create common sense laws uh, that uh, don't restrict operators. They basically work for you to help you uh, make sure you have a voice out there. Uh, we work a lot with Vic and Kenji. Uh, they've been helping the industry a lot. And uh, if you can support them, we would be very appreciative. Uh, it uh, doesn't take much and it's uh, really helpful for the industry. All right, that's it. That's all I have this week. Uh, we will be doing a live on Monday answering any of your questions, uh, including a lot of questions, I'm sure, about flying over people because uh, we do that every week. And then in the meantime, you have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. All right, next up this week is a man in misery. Missouri. <laughs> I cannot say the name of that state without saying... <laughs>